Good morning, everyone. Morning, morning, morning. Oke, okay, uh, ini dribbler semua ya, harusnya ya, di sini ya. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, designer sih, at least ya. Yeah. Oke, okay. uh, gue juga sih sebenarnya. Wep. Jadi kita kenalan dulu ya, uh, untuk siapa itu yang belum yang belum tahu gue itu siapa. So, um, I've been in product design, uh, experience design for uh, the last 10 years. Uh, the first five years I spent in, uh, in Canada. Uh, working with various different clients, uh, various different companies, um, and basically, uh, what what got me to product design is basically the human computer uh, human computer interaction program. Yang I took the uh, uh, in my university uh, at UBC. And so uh, that's uh, the beginning of my love story, I guess, with experience design um, overall. Uh, gue juga sempat kerja, uh, interestingly, di SAP, uh, Business Object, back in Canada juga, and that was a very, very interesting year. Uh, because um, when all of you these days design um, experiences for apps, for uh, dashboards, and all that, setahun itu gue di SAP, gue design for disabled people. Okay. So, um, imagine, gimana sih caranya, gitu, designing buat orang yang gak bisa lihat. Gitu. And so pas uh, setahun itu gue di SAP, um, actually learned a lot um, and the, the whole value of experience design and product design itu benar-benar jadi kenyataan sih buat gue. Okay. Jadi uh, satu tahun ini memang singkat banget, tapi uh, gue belajarnya banyak banget sih sebenarnya. Uh, banyak banget in a way that, okay, kayak we're designing not only for aesthetic, uh, soalnya nggak semua orang bisa lihat. Gitu kan? Oke, okay, habis itu uh, udah ada bosan di SAP. Uh, habis itu kita pindah, uh, gue pindah ke agency. And I've been in the agency world for uh, pretty much uh, uh, my career uh, until today. Oke, okay, uh, so I led a, a UX design team uh, back in Vancouver for a company called uh, FCV Interactive, di mana kita actually uh, work with a lot of government clients, uh, so making an impact uh, that way uh, on the citizen relationship with our government itself. Um, habis itu, uh, udah terlalu bosan di Vancouver, and so um, took a jump to to, uh, to go to San Francisco uh, to work with uh, a company called Fantasy Interactive, di mana gua ngelit uh, UX and design for various different projects. Um, itu juga lumayan exciting banget. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through one of my uh, most 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 favorite case study today uh, dari Fantasy juga. Uh, so hopefully it's gonna help you a little bit uh, in understanding. Uh, The, the design process and all that. Uh, so it was it was a great year again. Uh, worked with a lot of amazing clients. Uh, Turn through me, HP, UFC, Twitter. Um, amazing, amazing experiences. Uh, Abis, uh, when I when I left uh, San Francisco, I uh, decided to do a little bit of a uh, nomading uh, around Asia. Soalnya gue suka travel, and so uh, that turned out to be also an amazing experience because not only did I uh, Uh, got to meet a lot of people, but I also got to uh, to see a lot of various different cultures all around Asia. Um, went to Shanghai in China, went to Bangladesh, uh, went to India, uh, and actually they have great, 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 great um, design communities there as well. And so, uh, yeah, actually on that note, uh, if you're travelers, I encourage you to travel uh, to really, really uh, get to know uh, other cultures and the design cultures out there. And so uh, after I'm done nomading a little bit there, um, I'm back in Indonesia, I'm back in Jakarta, I'm making Jakarta my base, I'm building a team. We have our Sweet Escape team here. Mana? Ngumpet. And we also, ah, there you go. And we also have our 62 team here. <laughs> <laughs> Pada malu. Ya, yeah, anyway, uh, tadi sudah udah jelas, jelasin dikit sih. Sisi itu ini, um, uh, basically what we call ourselves a, a product design studio, di mana kita fokus di uh, strategic product management, uh, product management and, uh, and design as well for a lot of our clients. Uh, and we're Sweet Escape, I think you guys already know a little bit more about Sweet Escape. Uh, basically kita, uh, kita itu uh, a service provider for uh, photography services all around the world. Oke, okay, uh, itu tadi tetap terlalu lama kayaknya intronya. Jadi uh, hari ini kayak the the, uh, the theme this morning is around the latest product design trends in Indonesia. So I'm I'm gonna try to do my best to um, uh, to share some of my observation. Uh, whoops, too fast. Oke, okay, I'm gonna do my best to to share some of my observation on on the product design trends in Indonesia. Um, tapi first of all, trends itu um, apa sih? Gitu kan? 
uh, kalau dari kamus-kamus itu trends itu a general movement ya kan uh, on uh, where people are going uh, and if they're going in the same direction if they're going in the same direction then it becomes a trend um, um, great 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 example of trend is ini yeah can you find the real Airbnb saya <laughs> saya nah I mean basically uh, there's a good side and a, and a bad and a, and a downside of this right um, in the world of product design you know that you're trending when this happens right right but in the world of product design you know that when you're doing something right this happens right uh, for the better for the worse okay so we're gonna go back to this in a little bit So yeah, as mentioned, I, um, I've only been here for a year, um, and so I'm going to share with you some of my observations on uh, product design practices here in Indonesia, and mostly around um, like the, the latest startups that are popping up these days, yeah? So um, to be honest, I've got someone from Traveloka here, right? There you go. There he is. Yay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Traveloka was actually one of the very first product that I used um, when I came back to Indonesia, and it just surprised me. Um, it's not it's not the aesthetic, yeah. It's not the aesthetic that surprised me. It's the little design details, right? Um, what makes well, if you if you guys wonder, like there's there's a lot of travel apps out there, Ticket.com, Traveloka, da 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 da, right? Um, tapi what makes Traveloka stand out is its relationship with its users. Ya kan? And pas gue pakai Traveloka itu, kayak gue ngerasa kayak gampang banget gitu, right? Um, so it's, it's a true testament to what the Traveloka team, uh, if you guys are here today. Um, and uh, as an example, right? Like sekarang ini kalau gue book tiket kemana-mana, selalu pakai Traveloka, nggak perlu lagi kayak ngisi um, a passenger detail, passport number, um, date of birth, da 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 da, ya udah nggak perlu lagi. So it's a true testament to uh, them really understanding the uh, the product uh, and the and, and the user needs and the business at the same time. The second one is mobile. Ini uh, mungkin kalian pada kayak eh. Mobile kan udah biasa banget gitu. That's exactly why, right? So in the in, in my past year uh, collaborating with all of you in Indonesia, kayak gue jadi ngerasa actually the the concept of mobile first design kayak, is really put into work here in Indonesia. Di mana dulu pas gue di San Francisco, di, uh, di Vancouver and everywhere else, kayak people are still thinking about. Uh, Uh, kebanyakan ya uh, desktop first interfaces right uh, kita desain mo- uh, uh, desktop web interfaces that, that are amazing uh, but less about mobile but obviously because kayak the mobile usage here is um, immensely crazy right um, people use mobile even before they touch their laptop basically right and so companies like uh, cell stock for example Um, mereka skip desktop altogether, right? Uh, which is uh, which was an interesting move, I think. Um, but I think it uh, it makes a lot of sense. And uh, on mobile as well, I've also met a lot of designers that designs only mobile, right? Designs for app only, right? Which was uh, which was actually very very interesting to me uh, when I when I came back here. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of chat interface, chatbots, and uh, and chat-based apps and chat-based interfaces, right? Um, so this is also uh, this is also quite quite interesting to me because I think uh, one of the aims is to automate uh, the, the the day-to-day inter- interactions that are quite mundane, right? And so uh, if you can automate that, uh, why not? I'm also seeing a lot of full-service uh, focused products. Yang benar-benar encourage you to benar-benar um, kaya think about your Um, every single customer's touch point and online and offline. So um, those are my very, very high level observations on um, product design in Indonesia um, with the limited uh, monas that we have here. Tapi yang gue pengen nanya sebenarnya apa sih quality-quality yang bikin produk-produk ini tuh bagus gitu kan. And I'm sure um, that my friends Ari and Diski will Uh, talk a little bit more about the actual design trends um, that's going on here in Indonesia. Tapi, aku pengen ngomongin a little bit more about what makes a great product from from my perspective. Okay, uh, a quick show of hands. Ini sounds familiar, enggak? 
Mau so nggak ada, mau so nggak pernah dengar ini. Come on guys, come on. <laughs> This sounds very familiar guys, ya kan? Airbnb, gue pengennya website simple aja deh kayak Airbnb. Kan? Gue pengennya, uh, I'm building the next uh, the the Uber for logistic. I'm building the Uber for the. I'm over, I'm building the Uber for blah, right? Actually, kayak I'm also one of the culprit. I also said that just yesterday to my team. Yeah. Eh guys, ini di landing page mau dong ada value proposition ke Airbnb gitu, right? Tapi how often do you ask why? Kenapa your client suka banget sama Airbnb? Kenapa uh, your team members, your bosses, your coworkers suka banget sama Airbnb, right? Or Uber or whatever, Lonely Planet or whatever it is. How often do you ask why? Ya kan? Ini penting banget soalnya. If you don't, jadinya kayak gini. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. This is the uh, among other things, um, I believe that this is the result of designers not asking why. We can talk about it a little bit more later. Um, but just to recap really quickly, um, I wanted to share with you um, what I think makes a great design, what qualities um, I think makes a great design. Just to be clear, the next time you design a landing page, okay, tell your, uh, the, the users up front what is the value proposition, like what are you delivering here, right? Kenapa sih kita beda sama orang lain? Tell that up front, right? Not at the bottom, not in the middle, up front, right? It simplifies the complex. This is actually one of my projects from uh, my time in San Francisco uh, with a, uh, a client called 23andMe. Uh, so basically, they're a, a DNA uh, research company uh, that actually allows you to, uh, to, uh, to learn a bit more about yourself through your DNA. And so uh, basically, you spit in the, in the little tube, right? And then you send it back to them. Uh, and within, what, a month or so, uh, they'll, uh, you can log in and, uh, um, and see about what your DNA actually says about you. Uh, and so me and my team designed uh, these interfaces for 23andMe. Um, and oh my god. Was it very complex? Yeah. Di sini siapa yang ngerti tentang DNA? Gua aja sampai sekarang nggak ngerti. Ya kan? Tapi we had to make it work. We we made it work by asking a lot of whys to our clients. It was very very complex, right? Um, but uh, the job of a product designer um, in our case last time was to to simplify the complex amount of information that we had there. Right, um, and to make it work, and to make it understandable for people like you and I, right? Um, people who obviously are not doctors, right? Uh, ke medical school aja enggak, gitu kan? Uh, ngerti tentang DNA aja enggak, gitu. Tapi gimana caranya kita make DNA a lot more uh, your DNA data a lot more understandable? Yeah, whether you got your uh, your your blue eyes from your mom or your dad, right? Whether you uh, you're prone to certain diseases uh, in a later life, right? It's, it's all about feedback as well, right? Um, the greatest apps and the greatest design services communicates with you, right? Enggak cuman kayak kalau error, error message, error occurred, <laughs> right? So that's not, that's not personal at all, um, and that's not providing users with great feedback, and, and that's not fun, right? It needs to be inspiring, not only visually, right? Um, but uh, from the layout of your, uh, your product itself, kayak apa sih yang make your users tick, gitu loh. Ya kan? Apa aja sih yang mereka mau lihat, yang, bisa, yang kita bisa design biar mereka klik on it, gitu loh. Bukan cuma sekedar kayak, oh, nice banner image at the top, right? And this one is very, very, very important to me. Um, it is to be consistent. Menurut gua ya, personally, Kayak kalau gue lihat produk yang konsisten, that's sexy to me. Ya, yeah. bukan karena user, bukan karena usability-nya, bukan eh, all the obvious usability-nya needs to be good, tapi um, a great, great, great design needs to be consistent. Dimanapun um, uh, you access it, you access Airbnb or Premier Lake here, right? On your mobile phone, on your app, uh, on the on the app, on the uh, on the web. Or, uh, or even on the branding site, everything needs to be consistent. That's, I think that's sexy to me. 
and it needs to honestly, genuinely helpful. Ya kan? This is a great example dari Airbnb juga. Ya kan? Um, ini mereka basically cuma kasih tahu amenitiesnya di um, uh, di apa apartemen ini atau di rumah ini itu apa aja gitu. They could have just remove all of the strike through tax, but they didn't. Kenapa? Soalnya this will make it a lot faster for people to make a decision. Oh, enggak ada hair dryer. Oh, enggak ada baby equipment. Oh, enggak ada baby monitoring. Oh, enggak ada bathtub. Right? Yeah, this actually speeds up a lot of this, the decision making process from the client side, uh, from the customer side. And also from um, uh, from communication point of view, um, there's a great example from Ada as well. Uh, it's a it's a chat app uh, for medical purposes. Uh, again, it's uh, it needs to be timeless and adaptable. Yeah, this is this is a great uh, slide for me, just because that it just proved the point that when everyone. Everywhere uh, around the world, masih ngejar-ngejar desainnya Airbnb yang nomor dua atau yang nomor tiga, mereka yang udah di sini, ya kan? So uh, one of my last points is about uh, product designers instead of the design itself, because um, I really believe that behind a great product, uh, there's a team of great designers, great product designers. You know, obviously very successful apps yeah, and very successful companies here. Um, they're all started by like-minded people. They're all started by people who actually believe in the idea. Walaupun idenya waktu itu juga masih belum benar-benar matang. Now what, okay, the, the, the design team behind all of these great companies, itu semua tuh punya traits yang sama. Ya kan? Mereka talk to each other. Mereka nanya why. Mereka keep asking why, right? Kenapa sih ini nggak kayak gini? Kenapa sih? Kenapa, kenapa sih usernya kayak gini? Kenapa sih uh, kita mesti ngelakuin ini the certain way, right? Okay, we need to uh, start asking why, right? And we need to start um, communicating with each other. Um, they genuinely care about the product, and that's I think one of the first um, important things um, when designing a product. Yeah, you actually need to care, genuinely care about the topic you're designing. Um, oh, it's just a client project. Uh, my whole belief is that if you don't believe in what you're designing, you're not going to be doing a good job in the first place. Yeah. And all of the designers uh, that went into Airbnb to Uber, America, all believe in the product and they all believe to make a difference. Okay. Um, and obviously, lastly, they, uh, they really understand what the users and the business goals are. Because without that, I think, gajidinya nggak ada one. Yeah. And I really believe that the designers with those qualities are the ones that are going to be making the next trends. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. Um, and just to recap, I think the coolest thing about product design and being a product designer these days is both uh, the ugly and the beautiful sides, right? Like it's the process, it's the aesthetic, um, and it's also the team behind it that believes in the product. Thank you. Buka aja buka lapak